Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I really appreciate your attendance. Uh, it's a great debate. I know there's some diversity of views. If Sydney put up on the slide, I always like to talk. When we talk about budgeting, um, that's, our, that's the 2012 fiscal budget. The red is mandatory spending. You'll see Medicare is in there. The blue is discretionary budget, which is what we fight and shut down government about. Mandatory spending is spending that we can't control. Medicare is part of that. Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, interest payments on the debt. Sydney, you can pull that down. I do this all the time because if you have a national debt, it's based upon mandatory spending. Um, and Medicare is part of that actuarial actuary problem that we have uh, for future generations. The, uh, do you know why we're having this debate on Medicare Advantage? The President, through Obamacare, cut $716 billion from Medicare. And that's not disputed. Secretary Sebelius was right there. She admitted to testimony to me in front of this committee that she double counted Medicare cuts. So now we've got to find the money. Now we're going after seniors in programs that, that we should have both. We should have traditional fee-for-service for those who want it, and we should have the Medicare Advantage plans that we promised them. This is the same debate we had last week on Medicare D. We were able to stop the administration from hurting seniors and cutting Medicare D program. And so that's why these hearings are very, very important. And, uh, and I know it's tough, but you know, facts and numbers are hard to dispute. That's why we're here, because of, of the attack on seniors from Obamacare and the cutting of $716 billion. Uh, Dr. Liu, only 20% of this cut has been actual, actualized right now. My guess is there's still $300 billion more projected to go in the future. What do you think the for this big portion of seniors, if that's the true number, what is the future of Medicare Advantage and, and Mr. Little and the, and the plan in health care that he enjoys right now? Yeah, thank you for the question. As I said, we, we just are starting to feel the pain of the cuts, 20 percent or less. And um, as these cuts roll out, it's going to be very difficult. And, and very unlikely that we can continue at the same level of program, program, pro programs and payments to physicians. So you're saying so 300 billion more in cuts, Medicare Advantage no, might not we're, even. We're be looking available at double-digit cuts on, on 2014 plus 2015. I, I don't see how it's what we do can be sustainable. All right, let me let me go quickly because time runs fast. And talk to me about the. Uh, better health care aspects of Medicare Advantage and the diversity of uh, population that you see in Medicare Advantage plans? Uh, better health care, uh, you know, we, we can reduce hospitalizations, readmissions, we get better outcomes, shorter lengths of stay. Saving dollars? Absolutely saving. I mean, investment with a great return. Uh, in terms of diversity uh, in the markets that we're in, it's, uh, it's all demographics. Explain that. I mean, there's a senior population, so you're... Ethnicities, socioeconomic levels. Rich, poor. Rich, poor. Different ethnic backgrounds. Different ethnic backgrounds. Doesn't discriminate. No, no. It's, it's, it's all comers, and, and it, it's not one particular demographic. All right, let me ask you one more question, uh, and no one's raised this, but I, I, because of the funding problem, waste, fraud, and abuse is a big aspect on Medicare spending, right? And I've always argued because of fee-for-service, what do we do? We chase costs. Mm -hmm. We don't manage the, the illicit theft of the Medicare fund at the point of entry. We have to wait till there's five, ten years of data before we go after the provider. You may not know this, uh, but I would like for all the panel to look at what is a better plan to address, to address the waste, fraud, and abuse that we currently know in Medicare today, especially fee for service? And does Medicare Advantage provide a, a more timely response to fraud? And I think, Mr. Little, you kind of mentioned that, did you not? Yes, sir. I get a monthly statement from Humana showing everything I spent, and they caution you on the bottom if you 
sure. have anything that you didn't have done, yes, please call us immediately. Dr. Lou, I mean, you want to jump in? Yeah, it, I think that's the value of a population-based payment. It's a fixed payment that forces us to manage the care quality. And so we're, we contract with, with good providers that won't commit fraud, whereas you've got a fragmented fee-for-service system that incentivizes volume, a lot of potential for fraud. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.